So we have introduced air into the chamber so that we can open it up to put the sample in. Having the right tools is critical when it comes to teaching science. That's where Hitachi's TM3000 electron microscope comes in. Oh, we're right next to the tip. We're on this side. It changed the equation. When Hitachi contacted Nancy and I about this, uh, we said no thank you, quite categorically. And um, Bob, Bob Gordon said, well, just come and take a look at it. Give us 10 minutes, give us 15 minutes. And we, so we agreed. And after a few minutes, it was, it was very obvious that what Hitachi had done was somewhat revolutionary in, in shrinking the thing down and simplifying it to a point where a six-year-old could run the machine. It was designed as a crossover piece between light microscopy and high-end electron microscopy, where a person who has little experience with an electron microscope can sit down and get up and running in about a half an hour. And to be able to use that to do their job and do their job quickly and easily. Hitachi's website, inspirestemeducation.us, provides help from experts in the field of nanotechnology. The website is very functional without the, the microscope itself. Uh, we've loaded hundreds and hundreds of images onto the uh, website where educators could look at different materials and different micrographs. Portability is a big plus. The nice thing about it is that the TM3000 is a tabletop. Um, I go back to the dinosaur ages when they took up quite a bit of a room. Uh, this is small, it fits on a cart. I can pop it into the back of my van, drive it off to, we took it to a middle school recently and spent a day with students. It was easy to bring in, set up your setup within 10 or 15 minutes. And thanks to the TM3000, many kids now get to look at many things too small to see with ordinary microscopes. That helps attract students to science careers where they can see what nobody else can see.